Hi, I'm Janice from ReallyKidFriendly.com and Brit Mums have asked me to talk about um, maternal instinct today. Now when they first brought up this topic, I just thought, you know what, I have none. I have absolutely none. I see all these people who are just like really warm and cuddly and cozy with their, their kids and they just, they know right away what to do in every situation and they're off sort of baking with them and laughing and helping with the laundry and it's just you know they just seem to I don't know it all kind of just slots in together and they just seem to always know the right thing to do and they always just seem to be so happy and and um and really you know they don't seem to have struggled with this leap from um or what I've seen as a leap from being a queer woman to motherhood and I just thought maybe you know a lot of that is down to um something really deep down in them and I've just not got it. Something has switched off in me that, that is supposed to tell me, actually, this is the time to wind down my my sort of work brain and start switching on some other bit of me. And until I do that, I won't really genuinely enjoy either side. And so I've always said, sort of, yeah, I've always thought, you know, all these people have have that instinct and I just don't. But I don't know. I mean, I, I'm, I'm kind of... I'm not entirely sure what I think about it now. I, I've, I've been thinking about it a lot since um, since Susanna sent me this prompt. And I don't know, you know, I think a lot of it is learned because I've been thinking then about the people that I know who are like that and the way they interact with their parents and the way they interact with their sisters or whoever in their family. And actually they, they just come from really different families than I do and they, they come from um, environments where you know, they're actually sort of modeling their parents' behavior as opposed to just sort of, you know, this bubbling out of nowhere. They're they're doing all these little, you know, they're bake, baking with the kids and loving it because actually they baked with their mums and loved it. And and it's 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 one of those things that's just, it's, it's in them, but it's not because it's just magically in them. And it's not because it's in everybody. It's because that's what they were taught from a really young age. And so they've learned that. They've learned those sorts of interactions. They've they've kind of had a lot of practice doing that and you know quite possibly they've also had lots of practice with nieces and nephews and friends children all that sort of stuff as well whereas I think a lot of people um you know a lot of people have a baby and then you know that's really the sometimes it's the first baby you've ever picked up had when I first had my little girl people used to think oh you know you're such a natural at this because I was able to just pick her up and hold her properly uh not right away obviously I was always a bit paranoid that her head was going to fall off and I was accidentally going to poke my hand through her little soft bit on the top of her skull and but actually you know when she was a little bit older and a bit more solid it just everything sort of did feel really natural but then I just had to keep reminding myself it's because I worked in a daycare I worked in a nursery with babies and toddlers for a really really long time and I did it at work as work experience and I wasn't good at it at the start and then after I practiced loads I was and it did feel natural it, it did feel like it was just something that kind of came from nowhere I didn't have to think about it um, but actually it genuinely was learned and I think the same thing applies to um, you know when you have a baby the more experience you have the more it just feels natural the more it feels like it might just be instinct so for example people in different societies where they'll have had you know lots and lots of exposure around them they'll be let's say living with lots of extended families so they'll have been helping with the baby helping with all their neighbors babies and cousins and all these little people for so long even from you know the age of seven or eight they'll be helping change nappies and helping hold their their baby brother or whatever and I think in contrast our society is so isolated um, and isolating that you know you could easily get to 35 and have never held a baby before easily I'm, I know several people who have done this who when they picked up my baby it was the first time they'd ever ever held a baby and I just sort of imagine when when it comes time for them to have their own child nothing is gonna feel natural it doesn't matter how st strong that instinct is to protect them and to feed them that that instinct controls the feelings I think but it doesn't sort of determine whether you actually can do those things or not all that stuff has to be learned on the subject of feelings and where the genuine instinct is, uh, and for me anyway, I think it's very much about, I think the instinct um, has to do with our desire to do all those things. So our desire to care for our children, to, to want to hold them, to want them to be happy, to want them to be safe or to need them to be safe, um, to want to make sure that they're well fed and, and healthy. And I think all those things really do from, come from very, very deep down, and you'll see it in animals as well. 
And that is something that's really, really basic. But some people maybe don't know how to act on those emotions or those instincts. And some people have learned that they can and, and how to do it. Um, so people like me, I guess I'm sort of a bit of a mishmash in that, you know, I do have, I do have the right feelings. <laughs> I don't always know, I don't always know the right things to do. Um, but I kind of console myself in thinking, at least I know, you know, if I sort of think I'm doing something wrong, then at least I know that I am and I, I'm, I have a very strong desire to try and fix that and to make it better. So that's me on maternal instinct. Bye.